Welcome to Oli Discovery. In this channel, we bring you a lot of amazing video, entertainment, news, comedy clips, tech videos, a lot more. We bring you another interesting video on how to make a stain remover for your kitchen. Credit to Taste Delicious. She discovered the secret of the maids. To start this tip, we will need 500 milliliters of detergent. Guys tell me if you have any home tips to help cleaning, I would love to know. Next, I will use 90 grams of toothpaste. I'm sure everyone will be surprised how efficient this mixture is. I often use it in my own home. I have no doubt that you will enter your routine. Now let's mix it up. And before I forget, tell me which city you're watching so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Peter Sonomatsa from the UK. I'm glad you're enjoying our tips. I'll also use some baking soda. The optimal amount for this mixture is one tablespoon. Best of all, with a few everyday ingredients we can make a much more efficient product than those sold in conventional markets. I'll add 200 milliliters of water and with the help of a spoon mix all the ingredients well. People do it at your house, and then come back here to tell me what you think, I'm sure everyone will love it. Let's transfer our mixture into a container. Here I am using an empty detergent bottle. I'm also using a funnel to transfer the liquid from one container to the other. Avoiding this way that it falls off so as not to waste. I doubt you've ever made a tip to assist in cleaning similar to this before. This is the secret that all day laborers use. After transferring the liquid into the container just cover and start using it in your pots. Here I have a pot totally stained because of the time of use. Look how black she is. But using the product we just prepared it will be shining like new. Simply place a quantity of our mixture over the pan. Then with the help of a sponge, we will perform a light brushing. It is not necessary to use too much force. You'll never have trouble getting those hard to get out stains off again. After I started using, all my family started asking me what is the secret to keeping the pot so bright. Even your friends will ask you to teach so surprising that the result is. After rubbing just rinse and remove the foam. Tell me if you've ever used baking soda and detergent to help clean your house, I'd love to know. I never had to spend money on those expensive cleaning products again. Instead, I make this mixture easy to make my pots shiny and clean. Thank you for watching this video so far, see you in the next video, bye.